Hi, good morning. So I would like to talk about the, what we call the elephant in the room, which in my perspective, the elephant in the room is actually AI is not good enough. You know, the marathon that we talk about, you know, there are a few years that AI will be really good and will help us uh, to drive a change and drive value. But what I'm planning to talk about today is actually how bots and AI can make a big difference in the contact center uh, space and specifically um, how, you know, we can, we can address the AI uh, and leverage that. So there's no need to convince you about the trend uh, behind me. Um, we are messaging and there is a big shift from voice to messaging. And in fact, all of us are actually taking an active part of this shift. To be more specific, I call it the digital tsunami. And why tsunami? There are 300 billion interaction between us, the consumer, to the brand. Believe it or not, 90% of that, 270 billion interaction on a yearly basis, still done on 1-800 over the phone. And the key players, such as Google and Facebook and, and, and Apple, actually created frameworks that we already taking advantage of to actually follow this tsunami to the consumer to brand business conversation. This obviously comes with additional benefits. The number one benefit is the benefit to us as consumers, a great consumer experience. The benefit to the brands, to the business, meaningful reduction in cost. But last but not least, that serves as a springboard to bots and AI to come into the game, to play, and to benefit from that. If we look about apps, that were the, serve the next generation for websites, what we see today is a conversational business that enable us to consume content and consume or, or drive interactions and transactions in front of the business. More than that, the beauty of it is that conversational business leverage the existing digital assets from websites, from apps, from CRM, from knowledge base, and bring it all into a conversation. Just make this data, this digital data, accessible via conversation. So if bots and AI will be successful, that means that it's changed the way we are driving business between us, the consumer, to the brand. What does it mean to be successful? In order to be successful, there are two things that actually need to happen Perfectly. The first one, and that's the elephant in the room, we need to understand accurately and exactly the intent or the consumer intent. The second thing, while understanding the intent, we need to drive or to pair the specific consumer to the right bot or human. And I, during the upcoming few minutes, I would like to focus on those two specific aspects. So, understanding the intent is really hard. You know, in English, there are close to 200,000 words. If you think about the number of combination of words that I can express myself, it's, it's overwhelming. And by the way, not including slang, emojis, and, 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 and grammar mistakes. You know, we have people here from Korea. You know, I think the number of, uh, you know, words are actually double in Chinese, Japanese, it's, it's overwhelming. But after a lot, so many years of experience of working with big brands and going through the transcripts, we, practically there are only 5% of these words that are being used when we interact uh, with the, uh, the big brands. 10,000 words. That's what we are using. It's 5%. Those 10,000 words map into something like 600 to 1,600 different intents. Let's say 1,000 intents. Those intents mapped into business processes. Could be 60, 80, 100 different business processes, depend on the business uh, size. So, 
if I'm trying to uh, reach out to the brand and I would like to pay my bill, there are so many ways that I can express myself that I would like to pay my bill, or maybe I would like to notify my bank that I lost my credit card, or I have a login problem and I, you know, I need some help. So the task in hand is practically to take those different phrases and map them into what I call the contact center language. So there are many ways to express myself, but it's mapped into specific intents, skills, that that's, by the end of the day, the contact center language. So let's see what does it mean. Let's see that in action. We created a tool, what we called Intent Analyzer tool, and that's actually to resolve what I call the elephant in the room. Uh, this tool, in this specific example, took millions of conversations of a specific uh, big telco provider in Europe, map them into the uh, specific cluster, the intents, find out that there are 650 or so different intent, each intent related to the specific actions, and each intent also map into the specific conversation that an analyst can take a look and, and understand where it came from. Like any other great tool, we have dashboards and KPIs and graphs, uh, etc. However, as much as I like technology, definitely our technology, it's, it's not good enough. The results are good, but are not perfect. So, in order to shape that, we added the human, in this case, um, you know, the, the analyst, to the loop and help the machine, help the machine learning and, you know, it's helping one each other. Let's take a look what does it mean. The analyst um, is actually, um, the analyst get into the tool, most of the work done by the machine. Now we see different intents, topics related to this intent, and the analyst can merge between intents that, you know, A and B that actually are meaning the same, teach the machine that from now on that's the same um, intent. We can add additional intent toward uh, a new product or a new service that we are launching uh, uh, tomorrow. And, you know, the most commonly used intents are actually also presented to the analyst. That's practically will find its way to the user interface and routing. Because by the end of the day, what the analysts do, actually take all those intent and tie it to the specific treatment. If intent X require an attention of bot that doing X, Y, or Z, and then escalate it to agent, or intent Y will go via human and then uh, um, any other specific treatment. So the analyst can tie the treatment based on the intent. And there are actually two things that we can derive from, from, from this intent analyzer. The first one is actually drive consumer experience based on those intents. What we can see here, starting from sharing with the consumer the word cloud, the most common intents, helping the consumer to find the right journey and start based on the journeys and the business processes that the contact center defined. Another option would be like a small NLP engine that while I'm typing, exactly like we have in SMS, complete in real time the, the specific uh, intents or actions that I would like to provide. While on the right side, you can see cases that the intent is not clear and there is a need to fine tune. Therefore, I'm subsetting the, uh, the number of intent in order to uh, share with the consumer to choose the right one. I will give an example in a minute. The second thing as a derivative from the intent analyzer is routing or pair the consumer, the right consumer, to the right human or bot in the right time. So we see here several examples. Uh, the left one, you know, let's assume that I would like to pay my bill. In this case, I'm attaching a deep link to the application, to the website via WebFrom or iFrame or a specific area that already exists in order to self-serve and pay my bill. If it's like classic self-service, like 
I would like to change my address or get my balance. Those are classic bots that actually retrieve the data and it will be mapped into the proprietary uh, bot that specializes in this area. If I would like to cancel my account, whether I mention that specifically or via the intent analyzer, it's clear that I mean or I'm at a risk to cancel my account or I would like to upgrade something, you know, that will go to human because that's what the business decide. If we're talking about um, someone that would like to upgrade, and it's not clear, upgrade can refer to, I would like to upgrade my program, I would like to upgrade my mobile phone, or maybe I mean I would like to buy a new phone. That means that I'm subsetting the number of intents that related to upgrade, and then enabling the consumer to choose the right uh, uh, selection and route to the right uh, uh, person or bot. During the last uh, few months, we had the opportunity to work with GET. Um, I'm, was, I'm really excited about this partnership, uh, not like many other companies that are going through what I called a digital transformation. GET, born in digital, serving the digital consumer, and, you know, they really get it. So it's, uh, uh, they just change the, uh, the way they're interacting with consumers. Instead of sending a mail or pick up the phone, it's an in-app messaging inside the app. And, you know, as we speak, we are working with Get on the same process that, you know, I've just shown. And we're going through the entire transcripts, understand the machine, provide the right intents that are popular, we optimize that, and then driving the right consumer experience and routing. So from the, in the left side, you can see, you know, the most commonly used that will be mapped to the application. Um, subsetting uh, intents when, whenever is needed, and for example, when I forgot something on, you know, uh, in the taxi, I can reach out to human and then a different bot whispering the, uh, the agent, uh, the, uh, the number, uh, the mobile number of the taxi driver that, you know, get back to the, to the consumer. So that's uh, an interesting use case in action, taking the intent analyzer and, and, and serving both the consumer and the business. Um, this audience, by the end of the day, divided between um, bots makers and innovators and, and obviously uh, business people that you guys are on your uh, journey as part of the digital transformation. So for the uh, bots makers and the innovator, um, I would like to invite you all to take advantage of the APIs and the tools and make a big difference to the enterprise. For the business people here, please do embrace those people. Let them serve your customers alongside with the human and drive what we called the tango. Thank you very much.